Sunday had some excellent football games, as it always does. But let's start it off right with the Raiders. Starting the season 2-0, Derek Carr throwing for 800 yards in the first two games. Absolutely looking magical, scorching every defense he's faced so far in the season. Who would have thought? Not I. Definitely not I. But the Raiders start off 2-0. They beat the Steelers 26-17 in Pittsburgh. Big game by Henry Ruggs. Big game by Derek Carr. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh just did not have an answer for that offense. Next, we move on. We got the 49ers versus the Eagles. 49ers, even with all their injuries, still start off the season 2-0. Jimmy G was the perfect game manager. They ran the ball with three different running backs. Actually, two different running backs and a quarterback because Jimmy G had 11 carries for 20 yards. How did that happen? I don't know. But the entire 49ers team is going to be built around their defense this season. It's clear as day looking at this second game. Played against the Philadelphia Eagles. Jalen Hurts did not have quite the game he had in week one considering he did play a more difficult defense. It happens. Niners move on to 2-0. Next, we got the Texans versus the Browns. The Browns, Baker Mayfield threw for 213, only had two incompletions and one interception. Nick Chubb. I mean, Nick Chubb is a monster. Him and Kareem Hunt, that one-two punch, lethal. They combined for 146 yards and a touchdown. Uh, some real no-name players got a lot of the receptions considering all the injuries that has happened to the Browns receiving core. Odell Beckham still isn't back. Jarvis Landry hurts his knee in this very game. But the Browns get the win 31-21. to Three rushing touchdowns, one by the fullback, one by Baker Mayfield, and one by Nick Chubb. And then one passing by uh, Baker results in the victory next you got the broncos versus the jaguars and again the broncos are starting 2-0 Let's let's be honest. The reason they're starting 2-0 is because of the quarterback play. Teddy Bridgewater has been spectacular in his first two games. This second game, he threw for 328 yards and two touchdowns. He he looks like the guy. I mean, considering he hasn't played that great of defense playing the Giants and the Jaguars, so it is a bit early. But he looks real comfortable in the Broncos offense. Real good, too. I believe it was his same coach that he had in Minnesota when he was a pro bowler. So this could be big things for the Denver Broncos and I mean you have Von Miller looking like the savage he's always been in his career really coming back into form Trevor Lawrence did throw two interceptions to make it five on his young career hey he's a rookie it is what it is Peyton Manning led the league in interceptions his rookie year it happens next you got the Panthers how did the Panthers start off 2-0 they whopped the Saints Panthers win 26 to 7 Jameis Winston looks like Tampa Bay Jameis Winston throwing two INTs Kamara had a total of five rushing yards on eight carries that is how you stop the Saints offense if you stop Alvin Kamara you stop the whole thing they cannot move the ball without Alvin Kamara and then Sam Darnold throwing for 305 and two touchdowns Christian McCaffrey doing everything 72 rushing yards 65 receiving yards a touch touchdown that's what he does every game he gets like 130 yards from scrimmage every single game next you got the rams versus the colts in a very tight one carson wentz gets hurt once again <laughs> he hurt his ankle again so 247 touchdown and a pick but the biggest question mark for the colts is hey i don't know what you guys are gonna do at quarterback carson wentz has consistently shown that he cannot be the guy in a team due to his inability to stay healthy. And having, you could have Patrick Mahomes, but if Patrick Mahomes isn't on the field, then you'd have no one at quarterback. And that's just what keeps happening to the Colts. Jalen Ramsey looks like he's enjoying life over there in LA. Daryl Henderson ran for a touchdown. Stafford is balling out, really revitalizing his career. And this really shows that the Lions organization did not handle Matthew Stafford as well as they should have, considering how much better he's looked in the new Sean McVay offense. Moving on, Bills, 35-0. Josh Allen didn't have a big game because he didn't really need to. I mean, they ran for three touchdowns. Singletary had one. Zach Moss had two. It was just hand the ball off, and there was no way Miami was stopping them. That was 35-0. Tua gets hurt in this game. I believe it was a rib injury. Uh, Jacoby Brissett came in. He threw 40 passes, and it just... He threw 40 passes and only got 160 yards. That says enough. Moving on, we got the Patriots versus the Jets. Matt Jones looking good. He's just he's trying to get into the NFL offense. Only threw 186 yards, um, but that's all they needed because their running game was on point. Damian Harris, James White both scored touchdowns in this game. 
The Jets could not find an answer. Zach Wilson threw four interceptions. Oh, the Jets. They're going to be the number one overall pick. That's that's going to be a long old season for them. Bears versus Bengals. Justin Fields hits the field for the first time. He throws six completions, 60 yards, threw a pick. Did not look good throwing the ball. His rushing, though, was a breath of fresh air for the Chicago Bears. Uh, 10 carries, 31 yards. They're able to get a slim victory over the Bengals. Honestly, I think the Bengals lost this game more than the Bears won it. And what I mean by that, Joe Burrow threw three interceptions on three consecutive plays. And I believe it was in the second half. That that hurts. And to only give up 20 points as a defense, stout defense, Bears offense is not there. That's it. Joe Burrow, three picks. That's pretty much the summation of the game. Buccaneers versus Falcons. Buccaneers score 48 points. Tom Brady throws for five touchdowns. That makes it nine on the season. Two to Mike Evans. One to Chris Godwin. Two to Gronk. 35 points just off of Tom Brady. The old man. I think he's, what, 43-44 now throwing five touchdowns. 276 yards. No interceptions. I mean, you did it against Atlanta, who's not very good at all. But he threw five touchdowns. Congratulations, Tom Brady. Cardinals versus Vikings, a one-point game. The Vikings could easily be 2-0 on the season. They lose their first game in overtime versus the Cincinnati Bengals, lose this game off a missed field goal by their kicker as time was running out. Kirk Cousins threw for three touchdowns, 244 yards. Dalvin Cook being that superstar running back we all know he was, ran for 131. Justin Jefferson, Thielen, Osborne, all catching touchdowns. Kyler Murray really put this game on a platter for the Vikings, throwing two interceptions, but they missed the kick. That just seems to be the story in Minnesota. You always miss that big field goal. Every time, every time. Titans versus Seahawks, another barn burner of a game. Seattle loses 33-30 to Tennessee in Seattle. I did not see this coming. Derrick Henry was a man on a mission. Ran for 182 yards, three TDs, caught for 55 yards. He single-handedly put the offense on his back and said, I got you, I'm going to take you home. And that he did. Ryan Tannehill threw for 347, did not score a touchdown, but he did not need to. He got the ball downfield, gave Derrick Henry the ball, and called it a day. Seattle, Russell Wilson threw for 343, two TDs. Chris Carson ran for two TDs, but it was not enough. They just did not have it in the second half. It hurt. They could not find their offense in that fourth quarter or overtime, and that's what cost it in this game. Cowboys versus Chargers, SoFi Stadium. Cowboys get the win, 20-17. to 17. I'm not going to lie. There were some rough penalties on the Chargers in this game, and I mean rough. Two touchdowns taken off the board, but I know a lot of people on Twitter were blaming it on the refereeing. I see it differently. I see it as the discipline on the Chargers is lacking, considering if you give up, well, it was like 130 yards in penalties, what, 14 penalties? You took 14 points off the board. Just flat out, that's discipline. An illegal shift on the one-yard line? A whole offensive holding? I mean, come on. Justin Herbert looking good as always. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did not mean to click the video. Justin Herbert threw for 338 in a touchdown. Did throw two interceptions. Keenan Allen, four catches, 108. Dak Prescott did not have the great game he did in comparison to the one against the Buccaneers. But Tony Pollard showing up for 13 carries, 109, Zeke 71. That running game is what carried Dallas. And that was always the plan in Dallas was for that running game to be the most prominent aspect. It was never to be Dak. And here we are. That's what happens. You run for 180 yards offensively just with your two players, score two touchdowns, you're going to typically win games as long as your defense holds, which they did. Next, we're moving on to Chiefs versus Ravens. And this one hurt me. I'm not going to lie. Clyde Edwards Hilaire fumbled in the fourth quarter with two minutes left. Baltimore gets the gets the win 36 35 lamar jackson ran for 107 two touchdowns threw for 239 and a touchdown also threw two picks they were early in the game both to tyron matthew welcome back honey badger marquise brown catching for 113 and a touchdown 
Patrick Mahomes threw for 343 and three TDs, but takes home the L because Lamar Jackson looks at John Harbaugh, says, let's go for it. And then John Harbaugh, with all the confidence on fourth and one with a minute and what, 50 left in the game at their own like 40 yard line, says, all right, let's go. Gives it to his superstar quarterback, runs it right up the middle, runs over some linebackers, gets that first down, and that's what I love. Even though we, the Chiefs, took the L, I love that aspect from Lamar Jackson saying, I want this win, and get it, he did. That is week two of the NFL season. We're going to see Monday Night Football tonight. We got Packers versus the Lions. I got Aaron Rodgers on my fantasy team. I need some big, big points because he's a bad man. I want to see how that goes. I'm excited. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See ya.